Hello my crafty people, this is Trisha Creator Mass Creations and I am back today with a project share and a um, new uh, tool share that I just picked up yesterday from Tuesday mornings, Tuesday morning and it is this uh, EK Tools um, Curvy Cutter and I got it yesterday when I was in town and this is what it is right here, this little jiggy thing right here. And so, um, I, I was trying to figure it out, I figured it out last night how to, uh, how to work it. And I'm going to show you guys, um, how to use it because I was looking on YouTube and I couldn't find any videos on this particular curve cutter. I saw other ones I said curve cuts, but it wasn't this one. So I said, well, I'm going to have to figure it out myself. So first I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to show you how you have to put it again, how it comes together because this, the blade doesn't come attached to the uh the other little plastic part here and it's got like little grooves on me take it off and it comes with this protective uh cover right here that the blade come in it comes in just like that i'm gonna step back in here now you can choose to put your blade back in here once you're done using it or you can just continue our leave on here which i think i'm gonna do because i'm not gonna be out here and using this so i think i'm just gonna go and leave this on here and i'm not gonna worry about protecting the blade because again it's just gonna be using it and i just store it properly so this is the way the blade comes it's this little yellow and uh gray plastic thing and you pop that off okay now um i figured out that there's a way you have to put this on here okay this is the bottom of it and you start in the middle okay now i'm going to show you now you have to make sure that the blade is on the inside of his head. I can't have it the blade on the outside like this. It has to be on the inside. Now I think when I put it on last night and I tried it out, I had it on the outside and it cut okay, but I think it cuts better uh, and it cuts it smaller if you put it on the inside. So again, it has these little little grooves on there. You can see where you have to snap it in place on the um the gray piece okay so again you're going to put that blade on the inside and then snap it on and be careful now I didn't have as much trouble putting it on when I was on, on camera I guess I'm trying to show it to you guys while I'm doing this but it's a smaller group right there you just snap it in just like that and then you're just gonna come all the way back it spins all the way back like this that I just snapped it off and put it back on okay because you can see right here the group that little part right there it's uh like a little opening where you can put snap that in there easier okay so this is the bottom of it and you got it in there and I'm going to I guess it doesn't really matter if you don't have it always around but the blade has to be in the middle so I'm assuming because I uh it comes with the instructions and uh it didn't really tell me much this is the only thing that came with it and didn't tell you how to put it together or nothing it just came with this on how to cut it so and we already know how to do that most of you are not do that if you've used this and have made these little flowers and this is what they look like I made a couple and I've also uh, distressed mine a little bit and I distressed them um, two different ways this is I distressed on the inside of the petals see that and then these are distressed on the outside and you can do both inside or outside so I did the distress or cold on the outside so it doesn't really matter which side you're doing on it just depends on how, which way you roll it okay now you're going to need a, a cutting mat because you don't want to cut up your table and your surface that you're working on and so far I used a uh, eight and a half by eleven piece cardstock and I cut it down right down the middle at four and a quarter and then I'm going to cut another pe another piece of it. It looks like that at four and a half. Um, it'll we're still work at four and a quarter by four and a quarter square. But this is the piece I used, and this is what you're going to have left. Okay. Now the trick is, is that you got to make sure that these inside uh, uh, pieces of the gray piece is covering all sides, top, bottom, where the lines are. There are lines here. There's lines going across here. Lines going all the way across to here and up and down okay now you're gonna make sure that you don't see the edge of the paper 
on the inside. So matter about the outside here. No matter about the outside. But you gotta make sure that the inside is covered. The whole inside of this is covered. You gotta just gotta center it. Well, you, you know, you can you can cut it bigger and you don't have to worry about this part, but I did this because I don't have to um be wasting paper later. And somehow I feel like it's all out of line. Like it got twisted or something. But it, I don't think that really matters. Because it looked like it's now it's all a lot of whack. And it got grooves on it. Or like little feet on it. Or little pads when you, when you put the down. It, it's not supposed to move. But it does anyway. But anyway, so I'm just going to worry about that. I'm going to again try to center this. And make sure all of the size. Uh, this, this inside edge is not going off the paper. No, let's turn it this way. Probably just gonna turn it the other way. It's probably safer if you you know you have a problem with this to cut it bigger or at least four by four four and a half by four and a half at the smallest. Okay, so now I got all of the size. Let me zoom up just a little bit more. And I'm going to show you how to cut this now. Okay, now you guys press firmly down on it, hold it in place, and you just press firmly down on the cutter the blade part and just go around and if you see if you miss the spot you can just go back over it to cut it out and you just continue to go all the way around now like I say if you miss the spot then and this is what you get let me zoom back out now oops okay and this is what you get now when you get to the edge where it stopped cutting at, when you stop that, and it then something popped in place, and you just cut it just like that. And I didn't press hard enough on it. That has problems the first time. So when the blade is sharpened. I just wasn't pressing hard enough on the blade. And so this is what you get. <sighs> Things always tend to go wrong when you are filming. I did perfectly, no problem, without issue when I wasn't on camera. Okay, but anyway, this is what you get. Okay, now, like I said, you do not have to do this, the distressing, if you don't want to. I just choose to. And so I used um, a band of coral or stress ink on this. And I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to do this on both sides because, again, I just did it on one side. And depending on how you want it, if you want on both sides, do you have to distress both sides but if you want on the inside then you just roll it a certain way if you want it outside again just roll it the opposite way so the distress is on the outside and not on the inside of the petals if you can see that all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to distress both sides on this one because i want to see how it looks because um you get different looks of course not too much of a drastic difference but you probably can't see the difference so on this one i'm going to uh, distress both sides. And I'm just going to go all the way until I get to the inside of this. And again, you don't have to do this. And you don't have to use this color. You, Of course, you can use any color you want. But, um, I... I just wants to do this. I want two tone flowers. Um, and um, I have uh, been wanting to do these flowers ever since I seen Tiffany McGill, Tiffany Crest, not the best. I boss McGill here on YouTube. She's made them, and she freehands her cut cir cut cir cir circles after she punches them out, and then she freehands cuts them. And her flowers are smaller. Um, and I still might do that because this these flowers are kind of big, but you can still make them as big or small as you want. Um, if you put the blade on a different way that's what I figured out and or you can uh use this which I think we're gonna do both but I was always wanting to make those flowers I never got around to doing it until I found this uh this little tool here at Tuesday mornings yesterday and like I said when you do this it doesn't matter which side you distress on if you want them inside or outside uh it just depends on which direction you roll it 
but I want to stress it on both sides of this one and see how it looks. So that is why I'm doing both sides. And again, I uh, decided to go ahead and film this because I was trying to find a video on how to use this thing. And I, I couldn't find that one. Like I said, I, they had the EK6 uh, craft, uh, uh, curvy cutter, but it was, there was, I seen the square one and I seen another one that was totally different from this. It was, it, it wasn't this tool. I don't know what it was, but it, I couldn't find one for this one. So I said, well, I'm going to have to figure it out myself and then, uh, do it. So I, I use it to start with a, uh, paintbrush to get me started and then I take it out and then you just roll it like I said if you did these with uh, freehand cutting then it's the same thing as far as this part goes it'll probably go just as fast if you did if you did um you know if you punch the circle then cut the uh, spirals in it with scissors same difference and so I'm going to let it go just a little bit and then I'm going to hold it. I'm going to get my glue gun, put some glue right there in the middle. And then I'm going to press that down and hold that there. Hold it for a few seconds for it to cool. And then there's your flower. Now, I don't know if you can see the difference. It's probably more colored. And these look way more prettier more, more cooler on um and that can stick uh in person do they do on camera they don't really look that cool i'm looking at it and it don't really look all that neat when you look at them on film i try to take a picture of them at a different angle or something when i'm done and you can see them but uh if you are um, the type of person to have copper toner and you can't cut like that what is it then this tool is cool and i have a die and um where i can cut some of my person but i just use this punch i just use the flower punch my fiscal style punch a green paper to make my leaves like this and i just put a full one on the bottom of that and made then glued it on like that I took another one and I just cut it in three petals and I put two petals on this one and you got the leaves on there and I'm just gonna put the throat the one with the three on here on that like that so I'm just gonna put some glue on the bottom of this and then put that on there like that and there's a flower one of those real flowers so these are pretty cute let's put in a cute and like I said, these um these are exact same thing as when you're again free cutting uh with your scissors, freehand cut or uh and, you know, the way I've seen other people do it. And I just never got around to it. So I decided to go ahead and finally make some of these real fun. Not for the sit here and make a whole mess of these uh different color card stocks and maybe some uh, pattern card stock and uh make a whole bunch of these flowers they're really cute and different colors but that is what i wanted to share with you guys i hope y'all um like this and if some of you that have this tool and do know how to use it then there you go but like i said um last night oh let me there's another thing okay now you don't have to take this off take this off and then start over make sure when you roll it back just roll it back in like this okay and another thing because i messed up last night is when i started rolling it back into the middle i it kind of got shifted and was out like that you see how that's out on the outside if you're gonna it's gonna get tighter and tighter and you're not gonna be able to pop it back out so make sure that when you're rolling this back into the center that this part stays on top of this and doesn't go on the inside you want that yellow uh parts to be under this part so you just take it and spin it back to this middle and then start a, whoops see how i popped it back in and so you just spin it back to the middle and then start over like so and like i said last night when i cut the first ones i had the blade on the outside and it's still cut but i believe this part of the uh thing it the flower uh this right here it was wider and it was like really huge um 
So you want, yeah, um, it, it's your, I guess your perfect preface, personal preface if you want the blade on the inside or the outside, but it does work both ways. Um, but the thing about it is, is that if you put on the outside, I don't know, I didn't measure what size paper that if you want to pre-cut your paper, uh, what size you have to make use this. Uh, all you have to do basically is just measure it from the outside to the outside and that's how big enough to cut your paper. So I'm thinking you'll probably be good if you cut it at five and a quarter at the smallest. And so guys, that is how you use the EK Tools uh, Curvy Cutter Spiral Maker. That's exactly what it is, a Spiral Maker. And yeah, oh yeah, these were the, the uh, directions on the back. But I didn't understand that. They did have instructions on the back, but I, I didn't understand none of that. And I think I probably was reading it too fast. And plus, I was trying to watch Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows Part 2. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't get into doing this. Um, but I was trying to figure it out in, at, um, last night. But there you go, guys. Y'all, um, hope that helps. And y'all have a crafty day. Bye.